Welcome to the inaugural episode of Hacking JavaScript. Now, if you're anything like me, you've definitely said to yourself, YouTube really needs to have another low-budget amateur podcast about technology. Well, there's a lot of content that's available online today about web development or about cybersecurity, but I don't really feel like a lot of that content is aimed at people like me. I'm really hoping that you'll subscribe and come along for the ride with me as we talk about content that's unique to the world of web development with a spin on cybersecurity and things that are relevant to people like me. We're going to learn some cool stuff about what's going on in the cybersecurity industry. We're going to talk about some of the latest uh, trends and uh, tips for front-end developers. And hopefully we'll have some really cool conversations along the way. And I'm looking forward to hearing from you. So let me step back for a moment and introduce myself. Who am I? My name is Art. I'm a software engineer living in greater Chicagoland. I graduated from Loyola University of Chicago in 2005. And I got my start in tech really back when I was in high school. I was building websites uh, on HTML and JavaScript using Yahoo GeoCities and I've really been in love with the web ever since. Currently, I work for Cox Automotive as principal software engineer, where I am responsible for all things front-end tech, as well as a variety of other things. Outside of work, I do some freelance consulting, and you can find more information about that on my website, akawebdesign.com. On my website, you'll also see that I speak at software conferences, tech meetups, I do a fair amount of blogging, and I really enjoy just creating content. On a personal note, I'm a married father of four. I have two dogs. I enjoy exercising, and I'm an accomplished musician. Each of these things will inevitably bleed into this podcast, so apologies in advance. So at this point, you might be asking yourself, why create the screencast? Well, I just told you that I do a fair amount of speaking and blogging and content creation. So this is just an extension of some of those activities. Certainly with COVID-19 hitting this year, it's prevented many of us from going to tech meetups or speaking at conferences. And I'm hoping that this podcast can help me continue to create content and get things out there kind of get a gauge on what people actually want to hear about. There's certainly an aspect of being able to practice public speaking via video, and this webcast is one way for me to continue doing that to hone those public speaking skills for when I can go and speak at a conference again in the future. And I'm hoping that maybe some point in the next 6 or 12 months, I can take some of the content that I am building here through this podcast and turn it into some sort of video course, maybe sell it on Udemy, give it away for free on YouTube. Not really sure where that's gonna pan out, but this will be a way for me to explore some of those ideas and really explore the idea of creating video content at large. Are you excited yet? Let me tell you what you can expect out of this Hacking JavaScript podcast. Number one, we're gonna have weekly episodes where we talk about topics that impact web development cybersecurity, that include things like demos and discussions about things happening in the industry. Probably going to be some hot takes, a lot of opinions, maybe the occasional interview. I'm going to try to keep each episode to roughly 10 minutes in length. Number one, because it's short to the point, easy to consume. Number two, it doesn't take me lots of time to edit. So we're going to talk about things like Deno, Recoil from uh, Facebook, uh, cross-site scripting, and maybe some Chrome extensions that I use every day for pen testing some of my web applications. Some other things you can definitely expect are going to be poor editing. Kids and dogs constantly interrupting my broadcast. Lots of dad humor with uh, bad jokes and puns. Probably a lot of swearing. And hopefully some improvement in the quality of my editing and content over time. If it's not clear, I just want to say that I'm really excited to get started on this video series. If you like JavaScript, if you like building web apps, you're interested in cybersecurity, I really hope that you'll subscribe because I'm looking forward to making this a really meaningful series of videos that talk about topics that are interesting to people like me. I hope they're interesting to you. Thanks again for watching. 
look forward to episode number one where we talk about Deno next week. Thank you.